All right, so welcome to the channel for the first time viewers. Welcome back from my existing subscribers. If you watch the Optimum Tech uh, Ryzen 7000 um, undervolt video and then updated your BIOS recently, you may notice, especially if you have an Asus board, I don't know if it works the same way if you have a Strix, but if you have a Tough like me um, and you're noticing that your PBO power limit is no longer uh, registering correctly, uh, this is how you can kind of fix that. So F7 will take you to the advanced mode. And the way Optimum Tech walked us through how to do this was to just go down through your advanced and then go down to AMD overclocking, accept, go to precision boost overdrive. I think he did it on a gigabyte board. Um, and I had set zero and zero, which is auto, and 105 or 105,000, which is 105 watts, right? Um, so you do your curve optimizer and do everything right through here, negative um, 20, uh, all cores, whatever, right? But it wasn't working. So, you know, I've been going into game and seeing, I was like, yo, I just hit 70C and it's been a long time, I would say since launch day that I hit 70C. So the way I was able to recognize or realize uh, a way to fix it, you know, I updated my BIOS to help support the 4090, which by the way, I need to check the the aura because the um, whenever I fire up, Hardware info, it cuts off the RGB, but that's another another uh, issue there. So scroll down, I got my DOCP, which is XMP. And as I scrolled down, I think it was under either Tweaker's Paradise or AI Features. So Tweaker's Paradise, nope, that's not it. Let's see. Actually, I lied to you. It's right here. So they moved it to the top menu and maybe it was there before and I missed it. But if you hit Precision Boost Overdrive, this is what you actually need to set it not that AMD overclocking, because it actually sits here. And this was on auto and everything was on auto. So I did 105, uh, which is my power limit. And I left everything on auto. It's a lot cleaner here too. You can also do your curve optimizer. It's the same settings. So I'm gonna switch over real quick. So you have your AI tweaker and then uh, precision boost overdrive. And again, curve optimizer. I went through and I set it negative um, and 20, right? So it's negative 20. And here we go to advanced. And it's the same options pretty much that we had here. The GFX and the curve optimizer are flipped <clears throat> and the platform throttle. I, I want to say AI tweak, Tweaker had that as well. Yeah, see? Um, but when you set it through here, it actually sits and it, and it sticks. So I just wanted to kind of make this video uh, for y'all to be able to see. I'm going to just... Ah, fuck me sideways. <laughs> I just cleared it. All right, let's set it up real quick. I'm not even going to change this. Um, let's go to... User profile, well, from profile one, that should be my XMP and the negative curve. I'm gonna actually have to do it live here. Where are we at? There we go. So boom, and persistent boost overdrive, manual, PPT limit, 105. Curve optimizer, all cores, negative, and then 20. So let me just actually go save a profile. And actually, we'll just we'll override this one. Save the profile one. And there we go. All right. So I'm going to launch Call of Duty so you can see in the top left with my afterburner and everything running. Um, that it actually just sits there and sticks to the, it, I think it gets to like 107 watts, but it doesn't cross that. <clears throat> and that helps tremendously. Like I haven't really lost any gaming performance, um, but at the same, with the same token, I will say that the temperatures, this is how I was able to get it from hitting 60 to 75 C while gaming to being just under 50. Like sometimes I get like 48 C uh, to about 65, 66 C. So it was a big change. Is that negative offset and then capping the power limit because really I don't do too much productivity work. I do video editing um, and that's pretty much it. So once we get signed in here, I'll just fire up uh, Afterburner, fire up um, Hardware, Hardware Info 64, and we'll just go into Call of Duty, which is the quickest way we can get in there. All right, there we go. And let's see here. Oh. Watch 
Smash that bad boy while it goes. <laughs> All right. Watch it not load, that'd be hilarious. All right, so again, we're gonna see it go through here, and once we get in there, it should be top left. But earlier I had noticed that right here, the CPU package power, that was spiking to, let me just move this. It was spiking to about 190, which is what let me know that it wasn't working. So now, as you look over, you can see it's in the 80s and 90s. And the temperature is right around 48C. So, yeah, that's the whole video, y'all. I just wanted to kind of share this because you may end up doing a BIOS update. This was a newer BIOS. It is a beta, a beta BIOS. Oh, my God, English. A beta BIOS, but it also maybe added that that because I don't recall it being there. Um, but it for sure was overriding what I was doing in the, um, in the actual settings. So that's it for the video. I'll catch you all on the flip. Hopefully this helps some of y'all. Um, that may be kind of wondering where your PBO curve, not your curve, but your power limits went. All right, catch you on the flip. Be easy.